very good step because we had to living in this really problematic period in time where there isn't the will to help you know, our politicians do what they need to do. And art has a really fundamental role because artists can actually create work that can speak to us in a, in a way, in using another language, a visual language, and communicate in a way that sometimes, you know, words 
can't. And you know, we can see a work of art, we can feel moved, we can feel you know, emotive to us, or we can just get something that we were resistant to before. And so this is why um, you know, artists have such an important role as our social commentators and encouraging us to see the world differently. And I'd like to congratulate all the artists who, are, you know, who have submitted work for this award. You know, there's a fabulous range of responses to this you know, really important topic. And I think there's something here that you know, everyone, because there's such diversity, will respond to in some way. That they encourage us to stop and think about our world differently. And you know, boy, we've never needed artists more than what we do now. Because if we look at the public airwaves and what we get in the mass media, you know, we get you know the hard line, especially you know in um, certain newspapers and things like that, and certain television programs. So we need these voices outside of that mainstream to encourage us to see things differently. And this is what we get here. And there's a, a fabulous variety from collage and photography, from sculpture and you know printmaking. So, you know, it's, it was quite a difficult process for us, but, um, you know, I really enjoyed it. And as I said, I just want to congratulate all the artists here today. Thank you. We believe that by revisiting this theme every couple of years as an acquisitive award, that we'll be able to build up really an historical archive of the different way that artists have approached the theme of climate change and the way our community is thinking about climate change and what those different ideas are in 10 years time and in 20 years time and hopefully even in 50 years time and that we'll actually have works from each of those different years and periods here in our collection that will be available to the public so we can really trace an historical record of the way arts and culture has looked at and the way our artists have portrayed the themes of climate change so out of that whole concept, that's how the Biennale was born, um, and we think it's got a lot of fantastic potential to achieve some of those aims.